a little video about uh, quadratic sequences just to help you. I think my last video didn't really work very well. Um, okay, so on the um, on the iPad here, let me just move this bottom thing out of the way. So we've got this sequence, and we're going to go do the method of differencing. Okay, so the differencing here is plus 6, plus 10, plus 14. So it's an increasing jump. Okay, so the increasing jump is, is hinting to us that if we drew this on a graph, we're not going to get a straight line. And so when we draw a graph, we need x values and y values. So what we do is we create n for the inputs, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is the position of the number in the sequence. We create u of n down here. And that's really saying that we plot these numbers on the x-axis and these numbers on the y-axis just to see what the graph looks like. So let's go to ti Inspire and have a little look there. So we're going to call this n, we're going to call this u, and that will be our input-output. Here we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And in this column we've got 3, 9, 19, 33, and 51. And then we're just going to go and plot these. n as the input, u as the output. Okay, And you can see that this isn't linear, this is some kind of curve. And as we're on the quadratics unit, this is actually a quadratic model. Okay, so we go menu, analyze, and we go to regression. And then we have the regression, we choose all these different models to fit. We're going to choose the quadratic because we kind of know it's a quadratic. And we just write down the rule here y equals x or 2 times by x squared plus 0x, so we don't need that, plus 1. Okay. Now, here's, we'll just do a little bit extra here, because when we do the second set of differences here, we get plus 4, plus 4, plus 4, okay? So the second set of difference is a constant. That gives us the clue that the x squared model is the one to use, okay? So let's just write down the final answer for this. Uh, the y value we replace with u of n, the output, and the x value we replace with n squared. So it's 2n squared plus 1. There's one final thing we can look at. It's the actual... This second difference is 4. And this a times by the n squared is 2. So there's definitely a relationship between these two numbers. Let's do one more here. This is plus 11. Uh, what's that one? Plus 17 plus 23, that's plus, oh crikey, what's that, 30, no, 29, and the second set of differences is plus 6, plus 6, plus 6, okay, the second set of difference is a constant, so that's triggering, it should be an n squared model, so let's just transfer our numbers here again, um, I'll, I'll, do a, I'll do another one actually, let me do dot, insert, I'm going to do a new problem. Okay, so that should take, and I'm going to put in a list and spreadsheet. That should take us to 2.1. So now I can use n here. I can use u again. Okay, so because I've got a 2.1, it's like a different problem set. So n and u, I can start again. So I'm going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 again. And in the output section, the u values, that's 4, 15, 32. 55 and 84, and then we're going to go a dot, insert, and we're going to insert a data and statistics, and we're going to do the same thing again here. This is going to be, it's taking its time, n. And this is going to be U. I'm going to do menu. I'm going to do analyze, number four. And then we're going to do regression, number six. Then we're going to use that quadratic regression again, and it should get the best model that fits through there. Quadratic is number four again. And there it is. Just write down that rule. Y equals to 3x squared plus 2x minus 1, and then rewrite it in terms of sequences, 
3 times by n squared plus 2n minus 1. Um, let's have a look at that again. The plus 6 here, and this is a 3. So can you see the relationship? Whatever this number is here, half of it gives you the number of n squares. Whatever the second difference here, plus 4, half of it gives you the number of n squares. Okay? So you can use your GDC to get the model. Hope that helps.